this is an image right here that shows uh, the the um, ice ages. So so this shows the ice age. This is where we are currently. This is where we are at the peak of our last ice age. That was twenty thousand years ago, right here, right. The last time sea levels were as high as they are this today. This is this is marine oxygen isotope stages and relative sea level. Mm -hmm. So that line that you're looking at right now is sea level. This line down here, sea level. This line up here is um, the isotopes that they're getting out of the ice cores. Oxygen isotopes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So they're using the Greenland ice cores and the Antarctic ice cores. Okay. And they're cross-referencing the two to come right. up with this chart. Oh, okay. I got right, it. Right. And so, and, and we have stages. That's interesting. Yeah. M M I S uh, stages, marine ice, isotope stages. Mm -hmm. We're in one right now, like marine ox oxygen isotope stage number one right now. If you go back uh, again, this was a that was the peak of the glacial last glacial cycle when we had like two miles of ice on top of Canada and the oceans were 400 feet lower and about a, about 100 yard or 100 miles farther away. This is the peak of the last one that you have your this cursor one right on. here. Yeah, that's the peak of the last ice age, which is was how long ago? Uh, 20, 25,000 years ago. Okay, and all the way on the right, where is that? How far ago is that? All the way over here? Yeah. This is 800,000 years. Got it. So okay. this is within that 786,000 years. That's why this is actually really good data. So here we have the, um, the peak of the ice age. This right here was the last interglacial, like the last times temperatures were like they are today. And they were warmer than they were they are today. More mm -hmm. ice melted mm -hmm. uh, during that time than had melted today. And sea levels were higher than they were today. And okay. that, that was 125, around about 125,000 years ago. The MIS, MIS stage was 5E. Wow, so we're like, so at the very, very far left is where we are right, right now. Yes, right here. The last time sea levels were at anywhere close to where they are today. So they're, here. they are the hot, pretty much, cl pretty damn close to the highest they've been in the last 800,000 years. Yeah, there's uh, one other place right here at 11C. Um, that was actually higher. You can actually see right here. For whatever reason, it oh might have been. God, that's fucking terrifying, dude. Because those peaks don't last very long. Hey, you're, you're telling me? <laughs> you just you just got a a climate change uh, 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 YouTube <laughs> warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't last very long, and we've been in one for you know ten thousand years. They last. It looks like they last like what, like like forty years, maybe? No, no, no. no. I mean, these are. I mean, these are. These are thousands of years. Oh, those so are that's, thousands. That's oh, they last a couple, like 40,000, 50,000 years. Yeah, but, but regardless, you're okay. right. They don't last that long. In, in the long, in the big picture, it's nothing. No, it's no. And, and in fact, we're, I, I think we're nearing the end of this one. And, and if you look at the historically, they go up, they go down, they go up, they go down. We have been up for 10,000 years, completely off topic right now, but they, they're up for 10,000 years already. It's got to go back down. And then there's only one thing worse than global warming global cooling you got it <laughs> you got it you can't feed oh, eight, you can't feed eight billion people right no with with right. uh reduced growing seasons and things like that so that's actually a huge problem and, and work everyone's freaking out agriculture about, goes to shit yeah yeah everybody's freaking out about the the beach homes uh when when we got to be worrying about feeding eight billion right people. yeah right so anyways anyways off topic there. that's terrifying it man. is it is so so yeah, I, I think that we actually see evidence of, of these last few interglacials in the landscape. We do see evidence of it. They're actually well dated. You can actually see in this image right here, they, they have names. You've got the uh, Pamlico, you've got the Talbot, you've got the, uh, uh, I can't remember how to say that one. Wicomico? Yeah, the Wicomico. Wicomico. Yeah, I don't, yeah, the Talbot and the Pamlico are, are the ones that are important to me because they're the ones that happen here and here. Uh, and again, I think that the impact happened somewhere back here. Or I. I I'm leaning towards this as being a possible date uh, from from what Michael Davis and Tim Harris. Now, so uh, does does conventional science agree that all of the like what do they say the explanations are for all of these drops in climate? Okay, all right. Oh, for the drops in climate, like the, for, for for the I mean the, these, these the, crazy variations, these jumps and these fall like uh, like those vertical spikes. Yeah. So overall, it's the Milankovitch cycle. So overall, it's the Earth's place in space and and you know where the Sun and the Earth are, right? So the Milankovitch cycles, you've got those three of them. You've got precession. That's the, uh, um, I'm sorry, eccentricity is the the shape that the Earth takes as it goes around the sun, right? Yeah. It's not a perfect circle. It does go more more circular, but it's more of an oval. Yes. It's more elliptical, actually. Right. And uh, so sometimes we're closer, sometimes we're farther away. That affects the climate. Um, the obliquity is the tilt of the axis, 
right? right? And and so that's what gives us our seasons. That's what gives mm-hmm. us, uh, you know, the winter. That's what gives us the summer. Is the is the shape, or uh, the the tilt of the axis as we move around the sun. Um, and so that tilt changes. It goes from like twenty four and a half degrees to like twenty two point one degrees. Right now we're at twenty three and a half degrees, but it's moving. You know, it does move. And and the cycles are really long. Like I think the um, eccentricity cycles are hundred thousand year cycles. Mm-hmm. Um, the um, the obliquity is uh, forty one thousand year cycles, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have the precession, which comes up a lot with like Randall Carlson's talks and things like that. Yeah. But that's that's the great year wobble. That's the wobble of the yep. Earth as it's as it's as its axis is. Which is like twenty six thousand years or something. Like yeah, that. and that was twenty six thousand years. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so those three things together, sometimes you're a little bit closer or sometimes you're a little bit farther away while the angle's farther. And how much of a variation in temperature is that from the very peak of the spike to the very bottom of it? Um, I'm not sure. It's usually, I usually hear it's like 20, 20 degrees difference. 20 degrees difference. Okay. But that's a big deal, you know, yeah. 20, you drop 20 degrees. And I think that's usually Celsius. So that could be like a really big deal. Yeah. Um, but so anyways, when this happens, we end up with these, when the sea levels are higher, we end up with shorelines. Uh, you know, the beach, the beach that was formed during that interglacial. And uh, we end up with a series of beaches as we go up from the current beach down here up to like the, the beach that was formed 200, uh, 20 million years ago or something like that. Mm. So you end up with all of these different scarps and these different uh, ancient barrier islands. 